a new body. Hi, my name is Monica Morton. We spoke last week about uh, my mommy makeover and putting a down payment. Get to go ahead and put put it down and schedule. Okay, what what date are you looking to have it, Monica? I was thinking the first week of April if there's availability. The first week, let me see. And I wanted to um, see Dr. Lesson. Dr. Lesson, yes. I do have for April 2nd with Dr. Lesson. Uh, what day is that of the week? April 2nd. It's a Tuesday. She could be arriving on a Monday because you have to be here in her office for the pre op on Monday. Surgery will be on Tuesday. Okay, yes. That's the date that yes. I would want to do. Yep. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Congrats. Thank you. Happy thank Valentine's Day. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Woo! Mason! Mommy is getting a new body. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm not happy that I have to leave my baby. No! <laughs> yeah, you're telling me about your dream? Did you have a good nap? No, I want to go to No, it's Yeah. I love when you just wake up from a nap. Look at mommy. Look at me. Um, mommy's gotta go to the doctor. I love you, babe. Look at these chippy cheeks. You've always had the squishiest cheeks. Do you want to go? Okay, no problem. Anything else? And then can I also have um a chocolate glazed donut? Okay. That's it. Alright, that's 420. You can pull around. Thank you. Um, that was my first. I didn't even know that Gardner had a Dunkin' Donuts. Like, since when? Really good. The, okay, so the coconut caramel Girl Scout cookie coffee is super good. And really bad, but I also got a glazed donut. But I'm starving and I wanted to eat something before I get my blood drawn. So, I am at my doctor's office, my primary care doctor, because I need to get cleared for surgery. If you can tell from the title of this video, I am getting a mommy makeover and I've been really hesitant to share I didn't think that I was going to share this at all it wasn't even a thought in my head until today um because like who wants to just come out and share their imperfections with the world and you know what I mean like who wants to just admit like hey I'm getting plastic surgery to fix this and this and this about my body the shirt is so big on me it's kind of I mean it's comfortable but whatever but yes yeah, so I think all mommy makeovers are different they can consist of different types of things but what I'm getting is I'm getting a breast augmentation and a tummy tuck so um I think other mommy makeovers like I think you can get a BBL which is like a Brazilian butt lift I think you can get um a, a lift I know most mommy makeovers involve a lift um I thought I was going to need a lift, but I guess they said I that I don't, so that's good. I mean, I don't, I have little boobies, so they were like, I'm not really sure what you want us to lift, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I'm just getting the implants. I've always wanted breast implants since I was like 15. I remember talking to Raheem about it 
when we just first started dating i've just always wanted breast and i don't want these huge boobs but i also don't want these small little boobs either oh the big part about me wanting to get a breast augmentation is because i don't like to wear bras like i just hate to wear bras just like that's what i'm gonna say to him as well like the end result of this is i don't want to wear a bra i know that sounds so like what but yeah i don't care i don't want to wear a bra ever again my belly okay so i don't have it's not like when i first of all i was really uneducated about what a tummy tuck was because when i thought tummy tuck i thought like tummy tuck like like my 600 pound life like i've watched those before and them get tummy tucks afterwards or whatever and stuff but um i guess i just had the whole wrong idea of it when i hear tummy tuck that's um, immediately when i think what i think about but um and people are like you know don't get a tummy tuck you just had a baby four or five months ago five months ago um, just give your body time to go back to normal and it's not that I have this belly or this like what's wrong with my stomach and I don't think I'm going to show my stomach or I'm, I might just show my stomach the day of surgery I'll probably do a vlog about that too but it's not like I have this belly or or this like fat stomach it's just the fact of from having two kids my belly does not look the same my belly button looks different the bottom of my stomach looks different um and I'm pretty insecure about it like I'm pretty insecure about my belly and even after I had Mason like even a year postpartum I mean my belly stays flat my belly goes down and I don't want the reason the other reason that I didn't want to share this vlog to begin with is because I don't want to make it seem like I'm taking an easy way out because I'm not just like I said after I had Mason I I went down below my baby weight. I, I ran and I got my body, like I was small again, I was tiny, and I still was insecure about my belly. I, no matter how many crunches I do or no matter how many ab workouts I do or whatever, my belly is not going to look normal. I do not like the way my belly button looks, point blank, period. Even my, my surgeon said like, you're not taking the easy way out. No matter how much you work out, you can't change the skin, like the skin on your belly. Like it's, you just cannot change it. So um, I figured I'd share it because I know I'm not the only person. And here's the problem. Here, here's where we went wrong. So before I had Mason, I was 104 pounds. Like I was, I'm, I'm a small person. I'm 4'11 and three quarters. Like, and then I carried this baby and you know, which I'm super grateful for. I and mean, I love that I carry two beautiful boys, but I just, I just want to fix it. Like point blank period. I want to love my body. Anyway, I'm here. I got my script. I'm having my surgery in Miami. So I'm going there the 31st of March and the 2nd of April is my surgery day, um, which is so soon. <laughs> so freaking soon like three less than three weeks away um i'm really nervous about it but i'm excited at the same time the thing that i was scared for about the tummy tuck is having a scar but i already have a c-section scar so they just go over it and my c-section scar is um like you can't like i'm i love it mine is hidden very well like way below my underwear line and I'm really really pale so I scar pretty well like my scars get white like my c-section scar is almost matching my skin tone so you can't even see it I guess I just wanted to share this because for a while I was like you know why why do I see people like on Instagram and stuff that have babies and have these perfect bodies and it's like I and then people write me like, oh, you know, you look so good or you carry pregnancy so well. And it's like, that's not always the case. Like, yeah, I carry pregnancy, pregnancy well. Like I look back and I, not to sound so confident, but I'm like, oh, I was such a cute pregnant person. But, um, it just goes to show that like not everybody's perfect. And I just wanted to share my surgery journey, I guess. Done. my EKG came back normal 
Um, my blood work still has to get cleared, but if everything looks good, then I am cleared for surgery. My doctor was trying to talk me out of it. Basically, she was like, um, get the breast implants. I don't think that you should do the tummy tuck. I don't think it's needed. And I'm like, no, like, I want this. Oh, so I was super happy because my nurse was saying that she got the same procedure done. So she was telling me everything that I needed to know about it, basically, as far as healing and stuff. She said it was the best choice that she ever made. Um, she said that she was iffy about the tummy tuck as well, but she said it was awesome. Um, what else did she say? She actually ended up getting pregnant again after her tummy tuck and she had a c-section and then they just performed a tummy tuck right after the c-section like killed two birds with one stone i did not even know that you could do that i guess it's more common she said she had the full mommy makeover and then another ma she said that worked there but wasn't there today she had one as well so i guess that's what i mean like that's why i wanted to make a vlog about it because it's kind of like i feel like no one wants to come out and say like, hey, I'm getting this and this done to my body. But I feel like if you're getting plastic surgery, you might as well own it. Like, I don't know. Same thing with the Kardashians. Like people knock them for getting plastic surgery. And I'm like, they look freaking like Kylie looks good. So what? Embrace it. Like, I don't know. That's just, that's just how I feel about it. But whatever. I'll see you guys. Is it good? Uh huh. Mason's eating his McDonald's. He got apple slices and french fries. And Rahim is not feeling very well over here on his deathbed. <laughs> got some Chinese food though. We're about to just chill out, eat some Chinese food. Are you nervous? I'm nervous for you. You nervous for me? Yeah, you got to be a lot of But I don't know. I'm nervous too. That's a really long surgery. It's like five hours. I'm scared. You'll be fine. Right, Mason? That's your mom. She's gonna be okay. It's only nerve-wracking because, like, I've I've had like seven surgeries, and I've never been scared. It's just the fact that now I have kids. Like, I can't die. <laughs> It's not an option. She's so dramatic, guys. So dramatic. This no, is my way. it's not that dramatic. Like it's serious. It's, it's not gonna. You're gonna be fine. Are you excited though? Like that I'm gonna have this new body, my pre-baby body. I'm excited that you're excited, but to be honest, I don't, I don't think you're gonna need it. I'm, but if there's something you want to do, then of course I'm gonna support it. But I think you look fine how you are. Thanks. But the fact that you're happy about getting it, I'm happy that you're happy. So I'm, I'll have. Basically, you know, like how excited I am, and you're just happy that I'm gonna be so happy with myself, right? Not one negative thought about it. So. Guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here because we are gonna eat this Chinese food. I'm in my comfy clothes, and we're just gonna relax for the rest of the day. But yeah, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video that I was super, super nervous to post. And stay safe. And stay safe, Rahim said. Why are they staying safe? I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. Okay, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs>